Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on what I might say is a future collectible. You say, Tom, what's a what future collectible? How do, you, how, do, how do I get in on the ground floor of a future collectible? Or what is a future collectible? Well, that's a good question. Thank you for asking that. Let me share that with you. So think about uh, these vehicles that over time uh, were just cars, were just cars. And because of their exclusivity, uh, low production figures, expensive original retail price, things like that, uh, go down in value, and then they go back up in value. And this is exactly what's happening with these XJS Cabriolets. This car has great style, V12 power, and all the modern amenities that you could ever want. Throw in uh, uh, original style paint, which we are going to whoosh, electronically meter and show you, because that's really the only way to tell that. And then we'll also see things like uh, the condition. The condition of this is why I want you to spend some time watching this video, looking at the detail. When we get inside, it's been preserved beautifully. Keep in mind, it's like, uh, imagine a car being garaged at home and garaged at work, right? Driven once in a while on the weekends. And this is a car here that's, uh, uh, I think driven right around a thousand miles a year, right? Is that amazing when you think about it? That's why these are so cool. All right, so think about uh, Cobras. Think about uh, other expensive cars along the way that become replica cars and things like that. And you end up with something like this and maybe you get on the ground floor. All right, so uh, we get a lot of compliments on this color because it's a great looking color, right? And it's uh, oyster metallic and it's just beautiful, especially here in the, in the lights here, but it's even better outside. Great metallic in it. But I want to do real quick, if I showed you, uh, you can do this quick thing that a lot of people don't do. And this is metering the paint for uh, authenticity. So we know like these panels here are all uh, original paint on them showing them all with, to be within roughly one ten millionths of an inch thick in between each panel, which is pretty cool to know uh, that you have a very original car like that. So, um, lastly, we like to do the paint quality test here. Can you read that nice and clear in there? And that you can. And when you can do that, we know that we have good shiny paint. We do the video for the reason because photos can be manipulated, right? You hear about AI and all these things that uh, fake news and what have you here, the video, we can see it, we know what we're getting, and we know that when it shows up uh, in your garage, uh, how excited you'll be. All right, so you may not care what's under the hood here, or you may. You may want to take this to car shows because this would qualify for uh, historic British shows now. You say, oh, wow, I can't believe it. This car is that old. I know, right? Anyway, uh, part of the authenticity of a vehicle is wrapped up in here, and I want to spend a minute showing that to you. First off, we have uh, the fabulous V12 engine, right? You look at this and you go, man, that is good looking. This is fuel-injected version of this engine, okay? Um, you know, originally they were carbureted. Uh, and they make great power and they sell a sport exhaust for it or you can remove one set of the mufflers because it has two sets of mufflers remove one set of the mufflers and get this great v12 power sound it's it's really uh, amazing once you uncork it but my point is this is that if you go to a car show uh, the originality of this car will shine through most any other car and I'll show you why for instance the original decals are still on the inside of the vent on the on the fenders showing the VIN number to the car etched in there. The VIN number to the car is also here there. The original emissions decals, a hood insulation pad, other decals here that are up front. Why is that important? Well, if this car was in an accident and these parts were replaced, right, they wouldn't be there anymore because you can't buy them anymore, right? So that's, we know that these are original fenders, original hood, original decals under here. It's just beautifully, beautifully preserved. And when you open it, it is a marvel of engineering seeing that V12. All right, so um, the back of the car is a styling statement, right? There's a lot of effort put into uh, what goes on back here, from burying the reverse lights into this chrome strip down there, the call out here in the font that went into just selecting emblems. You don't really know what goes into making a car, but when you get a luxury car, you get some things even another step up. For instance, like this uh, piece here. This used to have, in these older bodies, had two filler caps on both sides, balancer on the tank because they were sold in Europe and, uh, you know, left and right-hand drive countries. But what I like about this mostly, believe it or not, uh, while we're back here, is how finished the trunk is. The carpeting is beautifully done from the spare tire to the battery cover and all those details here. 
uh, this factory CD changer, right? This is a nice sign. You say, Tom, well, what's the big deal about a, a car cover in the car? They're not very expensive. Agreed, they're not very expensive. However, it says that the car was taken care of differently than, say, other cars. Not only was it garage, it was also covered inside the garage. This came with the car. We didn't purchase that, right? This is nice. They cared about the dash, preserving the dash. And when we get inside, you'll get to see that. But like all of these little things here are the little signs that say uh, amazing car. Lastly, the decals are on the side here uh, with the VIN numbers on there, as well as the VIN number here on the trunk lid too. So we know that these are original panels as well and haven't been replaced. That's a big deal, right? Because we have a low mileage original car and we want to keep it that way. All right, so you walk up to your Jag and you go, man, that's a great looking car. And you go, well, you know what, it's even better once I get inside. But what I want to talk about a little bit is what we call a grand tour. A grand tour is something that you can uh, get in a car and go away on a long trip. Well, why, what is the difference between that and a luxury car? Well, this has long legs, meaning it has great torque and power from the V12. This is a four-wheel independent suspension, four-wheel disc brakes. Um, and then in here, you have a lot of room for luggage and bags and things like that to go away. Soft luggage can go there. Then inside here, we have uh, this lockable storage area, which is a nice piece, okay? Also, too, you want to take the dogs with you. They can go there. They can be clipped to that thing there for their harnesses and what have you. Uh, and I don't know. If you've never driven one, uh, they're amazing. If you've just ridden one, you know how amazing they really are. And if you've owned one, it's time to own one again. All right, so let's get inside and see what, uh, what that means when we talk about Grand Touring. Because we have lots of room. Lots of room. And again, this is a very modern car because we have heated seats, right? Overdrive automatic. We have uh, full gauges from a 7,000 RPM tack to 160 mile an hour speedometer, right? I don't know if it'll go 160. Maybe we should find that out, verify it. This great looking wood across here. This is a Traveler trip computer, which would have been a big kind of feature uh, during the time of, of these cars when they were coming out. And luxury seating, right? Luxury seating, not a flat seat. This has great bolsters and it's designed to be uh, to cradle you and go for a drive for a really long time. Kind of the only unauthentic thing in the car is the stereo. And you might want to get the original Jaguar stereo if you're going to show this car. Put it back in there. And if you want, uh, you can always uh, move this into here, right? and then stream the music wirelessly with your phone. But we got books, we got keys, we got just an original, amazing car. And I'm not sure I could even take care of this car as well as that. And what are we showing here? Yep, 33, 854, uh, and uh, oh, climate control, power windows, cruise control, like I'm rambling on and on and on. It's just got so much great stuff and a power convertible top. All right, so I wanted to close up the video with uh, just a kind of a recap about collector car status and why that's important to you. Well, the reason why collector car status is important because as you enjoy a car, this is what I love so much about the hobby, is a simple fact is what if, what if it continues to go up in value as you own it? That's pretty cool. Here we have a 33,000 original mile car. We looked at so many authentic pieces around it. We saw the luxury that you get on what we call a grand tour, right? From the V12 engine to the overdrive automatic to the four wheel independent suspension, four wheel disc brakes, air conditioning, power windows, power top, heated seats, like on and on and on about so many uh, luxury items. Not to mention great looking right? At the end of the day, if it's not good looking, it's not worth owning. And this right here is definitely worth owning. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this XJS V12. All right. And if you don't mind, uh, hit the like button down below there. It helps get our message out. Share it with your friends. They might like some stuff too. And subscribe to the channel. We've got new content coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the next one.